Hi, it's Jane with Scraptastic Yarns Podcast. Today is Wednesday, August the 29th. And it's a hot one out here where we live in Lock Haven, Pennsylvania. Temperature was 91 degrees, just got in. It's one of those days where you feel like, ugh. Walk out, the humidity's high, it's hot, it's nasty. Yuck. I was up at the fire hall today, and uh, one of the local farmers, and I hope you guys have a place that does this, but one of our local farmers, many times she will bring in um, items that she has taken up to local grocers, 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 grocery stores, and they won't purchase the entire bunch of everything that she has and instead of trying to find someone to purchase it many times she will bring in those goods for us at the fire hall to hand out um, she's brought in lots of things today she brought in corn in the past she's brought in peaches because peaches didn't meet the USDA size requirements but they were delicious and uh, yeah so she brings in the corn allows us to take whatever we want and I just think that's really nice of her to do she doesn't she doesn't have to do that she could probably take it out to the flea market um, farmers market probably get some money for it but instead she brings it in to the fire hall so that's nice today I'm working on a uh, you know sometimes I wonder how that happens a knot in the skein center pull skein just a little knot in there I'm working on one of those scraptastic lapgans. I happened to notice that I had a bag full of greens, so I'm working up the Aran colorway with the greens, different greens, to get rid of it. I'm sick of looking at the bag. Although my favorite color is green, I am tired of looking at it, so it's got to go. And I've noticed over the past couple of days, my uh, lamp behind me is leaning a little more. So I told the husband we're going to have to buy a new lamp. Because that's driving me nuts, seeing it lean more. So maybe we will, maybe we won't, who knows. Um, I was thinking about yesterday, I did forget something for the repurposing. If you have cats and you get those buckets of kitty litter, we used to get the buckets of kitty litter. Those buckets stack real nice and they hold about eight skeins of yarn. How do I know that? I've tried it. And it probably holds about four of the big jumbo ones. So uh, that's another storage idea. And of course it's something you can stick away in the closet. Um, it's clear enough so you can see the colors through it. I have taken the labels off of mine. And I have some that I use for scraps in the quilting room. And I toss all the scraps into those. And from there, like with the embroidery program that I have, we need little scraps of fabric for the uh, applique part sometimes of those uh, blocks. So I just go in there looking for it. Um, I add some heat and bond to the back so that it, when you trim around the edges, it doesn't fray. And uh, yeah. That's what I use a lot of my scraps for. The other thing is, I do make scrap 
um, project bags and scrap totes, um, purses, those kind of things. So, uh, almost all of it can be used. You know, the real itty bitty pieces. They can be used for stuffing. Um, generally when I do that, uh, try to make sure it's like toy for dogs or something like that. And generally when I do a toy for dogs, I do double stitching. I want to make sure it's a little harder for them to get into. Because Lord knows they don't need to be eating anything they shouldn't be eating. We had a little incident out here where we live. We had a neighbor that decided they were going to purchase a dish network instead of using the cable company. And of course here in the apartments the problem with that is we have a mountain off over to the side in a river and uh, like a block away. And uh, you can't get reception with the DISH network. So they were pretty upset that they'd invested all that money into DISH. Couldn't use it. And they thought, well, we'll go with DirecTV. Nope. Doesn't work here either. Gotta go with the evil Comcast. So they were pretty upset. Um, neighbor had asked me if uh, you could get anything with just a regular antenna. I said, not much. I said, have you tried your radio lately yet? She goes, radio? Why? I said, well, sometimes it's pretty hard to get things where we're at because we're kind of down in the valley. I said, sometimes you don't get radio reception very well either. So she was pretty upset about that. She said, yeah, but the landlady, and I said, hmm. I said, well, I don't always trust what the landlady tells you, because she'll tell you anything. She goes, what do you mean by that? I said, well, when we first moved here, we moved into this apartment sight unseen. Uh, couldn't even get the pictures up on the web, because the agent at that time couldn't get them up for us to see. So we asked about the bedrooms, how big they were, and she told us the small bedroom is probably big enough for two children with their beds and the master bedroom is big enough for a king size bed. Well we have a queen size bed and it pretty much fills up that room. If we'd had a king size we'd have been climbing into the bed from the doorway. The other room which is my craft room is what's really considered a half room. It's not big enough for anything but maybe a twin bed and maybe a small desk so it's pretty small and I said uh, that's why you know that you can't always trust the uh, landlady she's just wanting to get you in there because she wants your money before she has to give it out to anybody else's apartments that she manage manages so you know, you learn pretty quick. Of course, we've been here going on 11 years, so. No, going on 14 years. So, uh, yeah, we have a clue how this landlady works. Um, the only reason my husband doesn't want to move, purchase a home, is because he lives half a block from the university where he works. He can go to work. You know, doesn't have to leave till the last minute come home for lunch, go back. So he he's pretty sad about that and of course he doesn't plan on retiring here. He keeps telling me that's why he doesn't want to buy a house. I tease him because I'm like well, I found a house you know just half a block the other way where the rent would have been about what we were paying when we first moved here. You know the rent, the house payment. Plus, it had a mother-in-law suite in the back that I could have used for a craft room. He goes, yeah, but we're not going to live here when we retire. 
I'm like, okay, fine. So, yeah. Kind of interesting. He'd rather put out more money than purchase a home that he could sell later. Since it is a university town, they do sell pretty quick. But, you know, men get set in their, w set in their ways and that's just all there is to it. Okay, gotta take a little break here. Mess with this fight with this yarn a little bit. I'll be back in just a moment. I'm back. While I was off wrangling the yarn that was getting all wrapped up in itself. Had another color that was getting wrapped up in the ball down there. Fought with it. Then I had a friend stop by and they dropped off a bag of tomatoes and a bag of green beans out of the garden. Looks like I know what we're having for supper tonight. I like those kind of days when it's real easy supper. Had to stop off at the post office to drop to mail some packages. Um, part of Cosetta's yarn swap and I hadn't been out until today, so I got that mailed off. And, uh, then I had something else I had to mail off to someone. Someone had purchased an order. So I mailed that off to them. So everybody should be getting their stuff within the next couple of days. Now, I noticed while the gal was ringing up the stuff that they've started automatically doing the priority mail and not necessarily giving you the cheapest price because the cheapest price for one of the packages would have been like $7.20 might take a day extra to get there first class instead of priority and I thought when did they start doing that maybe I hadn't noticed hmm guess I need to start noticing things a little bit I have noticed many times when I send it first class it gets there the same amount of time as priority mail but uh Whatever. What are you going to do? Everybody's trying to get top dollar for everything these days. Can you blame them? We at the fire hall, we were talking about something that was kind of odd. Um, there's a young Amish child yesterday. The mother was putting the baby, it was an eight month old baby, into the buggy, strapping it into a car seat, and the horse got spooked, took off, and of course the buggy turned over and dragged the baby all over the field. Um, baby didn't survive. But we got to talking because most time when you're behind these buggies, you know, there's seven or eight kids in the buggy's feet dangling off the back of the wagon or hands outside of the, if they're in a covered wagon, um, waving at everybody. And I thought, I don't think I've ever seen a car seat in a buggy. Uh, many times I've passed buggies, and the mothers are holding the babies. So, kind of odd that she was putting it into a car seat. And of course, it's really sad for this family. I kind of wonder... You know why they don't 
treat their animals better because we've often seen them abusing the animals and you know really pushing the horses when they're using the buggies so I'm wondering if the horse got spooked because of that you know of course horses get spooked for any any kind of reason horse could have thought a mouse ran over its foot or a wave of grass was a snake or something so but sad and uh, yeah then crazy things happen when you hear these things and of course then then talk turned to you know how bad the wheels and the horses hooves are on the road and they don't pay road tax why don't they have to pay road tax so it gets kind of interesting and then of course we turn back to food food is one of our favorite subjects I think we live vicariously through each other's descriptions of certain recipes I always wonder why we do that okay I've nattered on about nothing so I'm gonna go I'll see you again tomorrow um, everybody have a great week remember to be kind and uh, see you again soon